Hello guys, this is Liam 2.0, and welcome to my let's play of a game called Little Misfortune. This game was recommended to me by a friend, and I thought it was kind of funny that I just finished a series on Little Nightmares, and I'm playing Little Misfortune, so I'm gonna get straight into it. Let's go ahead and start a new game. Okay, here we are, and we've got an opening cinematic. I've got a fox, and maybe the Grim Reaper, possibly. I should mention, I have no idea what's happening in this game going into it. I'm being sent on a mission, maybe? Maybe I've got to take this wagon. Oh, I like my, my headphones. Those kind of look like retro, you know, with the red and the blue wire. Where am I going? Am I, like, in the underworld or something? It's kind of Halloween-y, like, with all the decorations. I guess they're not decorations. I guess they just are just part of the environment that we're in. What is this little creature? Is it a pine cone? A gnome? Something like that? Oh, I didn't realize I was gonna touch the gravestone and it was gonna glow and become a portal. Well, that was kind of dramatic. Oh, look, it's like a sling ring portal from Avengers. <laughs> My mind traces everything back to the MCU. It's a problem. Here we go. This is a much more calm and peaceful landscape. Reminds me of the, the title screen of the game. This is so much better than where we were before but I don't understand what's happening yet. I guess that'll become more clear as Welcome we play through it. Oh. To my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. Sounds like the ghost host from Haunted Mansion. Are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. I do like rewards. Is that English? I don't think that's English, or I'd be able to understand it, presumably. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not-so-wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. Wow, that is quite unfortunate. She is living up to her name. I can hear you, you know. Oh, that's meta. Oh, you can? <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. I think you're lying there. I'm pretty sure you said she was going to die today. I have prepared a game for you. A game for her or a game for me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? <laughs> eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, <laughs> it's a deal. Oh no, this doesn't look good. Wonderful. Fantastic. There's a flash of the upside ready, down or something. Yes. I'm very ready to play. Mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Oh, okay. Here we go. I can move left and right, it looks like. So I can't move forward or backwards, like towards the window or towards the camera. Oh, I can interact with things. That really looks like a symbol from I Little like Nightmares. To move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. It's the music that goes on forever. Well, um, thank you for, for letting me know. Let's check out this picture on the wall. Oh, it's Benjamin. That's the guy from the beginning. Guy, Fox, same thing. I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh. I don't care much for foxes. I don't think I trust Benjamin. I'm just saying, I think he was involved in some shady business with that Grim Reaper figure. Let's see if there's anything else over here. Oh, what can I do? Can I go in the bed? Maybe this is a, oh, it's under the bed. My secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. Oh, when that's I unfortunate. Here, I'm so sorry to hear this. This little girl shouldn't have to go through that. I like all the details here. Nobody's allowed to read it. Want to see? Uh, please. You just said no one was allowed to read it, so I feel kind of bad. But let's see what you have to say. I believe that says her name is Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez, which is an interesting name. I wonder why you would name your own child uh, a misfortunate. Hello, diary. At school, I drew, and at home, I was at my hiding spot, talking to Busby, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. 
Benjamin. She is in love with Benjamin. I really do not trust him. I'm not going to read all of this, but it's on screen if you want to check it out. Let's see what she has to say about this drawing. Forever. Yes, that is quite a yikes. <laughs> the puke of love. That's what it is. Oh, that's disgusting, but uh, nice poetry, I suppose. Oh, oh, that's really... Well, that's more than unfortunate. I don't know what to say about that. Here's an alien, though. That's kind of fun. Japanese friend. He's a ghost. Oh, oh, a ghost, not an alien. Sorry, my bad. Glitter. I love my glitter. I got to the last page of the diary. There was a lot in there. Maybe some of it's going to come up in the future. I don't know, but I wanted to make sure that I was very thorough. Oh, we're meeting Busby. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. My thoughts exactly, narrator. Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Oh, what's happening here? Uh, take coloring book with you or leave for Busby. I'm gonna take it with me just in case. Okay, that was a cool little effect. It was like an RGB screen dilation thing. Okay, I guess I'm gonna put this in my inventory for later. And I think that is everything. So let's check out the rest of the room, see if there's anything else. I already tried that speaker. There is something on the floor here. Oh, this is what I was just working on at the beginning where I was throwing the glitter. For a second, I thought she had magic powers. Maybe it was like a god of misfortune or something like that. Oh, do I get to take this with me? I think that might have just gone into my inventory. Ooh, press Y. Hey, that's a cool magical power. I would like to do that in real life, except the glitter would get everywhere and then I'd have to clean it up. Am I going to be able to... No, I still can't walk backwards, but I should just be able to... Which oh. toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose. I want to say that was a really weird rule from the narrator. Like, why on earth am I only allowed to take one thing? Especially when the stone is a pretty small, but I do think the stone is going to be a more practical use, so that's what I'm going to choose to take. The stone that you threw at me once. Interesting choice. Yeah, I call him Stony. I didn't know! I didn't know the story of the stone when I chose it. I just thought it could be used to, like, I don't know, break a window or something. <laughs> and so, you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> okay, so that's why we have that sparkle power. Happiness to everything. <laughs> that's so sweet for someone named Miss Fortune. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today. Let's She's talking to me. that a secret between us, all right? Honestly, I had forgotten. If you hadn't brought it up, I probably wouldn't have remembered. Okay, we're out in the hallway now. I think that must be the door to the room. We can look at this picture. This is Grandma. She wears a diaper, too. <laughs> you okay. still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how old this child is, but I'm honestly not good with ages in general. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. That cannot be good for you. I know it's not like metal, but surely you should probably get a shot for that or some stitches or something. Hold RT and move to run. Okay. Oh, why did I do that? He made me run. Damn it. That's so unfortunate. Oh, okay. That That's interesting language from a little girl. Cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. I don't think you can trust this narrator if I'm being entirely Maybe honest. Go try to fix it. Okay, I think the answer is obvious. I should fix the vase, but the problem is what if I do a shoddy job of it or something and it just doesn't go well and it looks more obvious or something. Oh, this is cool. I actually get to play with and interact and put the pieces back where I think they belong. Can I turn them or anything? No, I can't. This might be an impossible puzzle. Wait, I see a bit of the rim of the vase right here, so I can put that there. Okay, this looks like a middle piece. Perfect. I'm doing it, guys. This is another one with the rim on it. So let's put that up here and then this goes with the gates and stuff. Those aren't gates Those are flowers or something. I don't know what I'm talking about process of elimination would have me to believe that this last piece goes Right there and I actually did it. I fixed. Oh, no, did that not save? No, 
I just did all that work and it didn't save. Okay, that's fine. It'll only take a second. Oh, I see what I did. I didn't put the flower back in it. There we go. Now it's back on the table. Perfect. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I just got an achievement for the cause. Fix the vase. I'm sure like 99% of players have that. It's like the first interactive thing you get to do. I have to smile even when I'm sad. I don't know if that's the best lesson to teach children. Like, I think maybe they can be sad. We're in the kitchen, yay! Someone left some boiling water. It's like cigarettes in here. Oh, good, there's a person. It wasn't just unattended. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well? I'm not sure if that's juice. Mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Get that what? I honestly couldn't tell what she said right there. Let's see. Oh, the prize, maybe. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Is yeah, that a skull in the soup? Ew. Yikes forever. Oh, I'm getting a prompt to throw glitter. Do you think if I throw glitter at the pot, it'll make it all better? Yeah, there we go. That makes me feel, oh, whoa. Why is that such a realistic looking heart? Well, it's not a, re it's in the shape of a heart, but like with the organ-ish parts of it. Mommy wasn't that drunk and daddy actually- <laughs> So she knows it's not me. juice. Okay, and her dad acknowledged her. I think that's the bare minimum you could possibly do. Just like my mommy, a juice drinker. Okay, we, you know, we all have dreams. We all have aspirations. Okay, October 11th. That might go along with the halloween uh, vibe I was talking about earlier. Um, you know what? I'm not- Going to tell the mom I'm leaving? No, the mom's not necessarily abusive. That's more the dad. So I'm gonna just be a responsible child and tell her. I'm going out to play, mommy. Okay, no answer anyway. So that choice Good might have been day, inconsequential. Morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, morning. <laughs> so here we are out in the yard, and apparently this is gonna be my remember first big adventure. First? Yes, this I do remember him. I saw him. He was hiding in the trash, and we made eye contact. It was really intense. Yes, you told me about that. <laughs> the narrator and I are kind of on the same page. Oh, wow. Really on the same page. Criminal? <laughs> That's silly. Then again, Miss Fortune makes a good point. I am going to try going to the left first to see if there's anything I can do over here. Nope, that tree somehow stops me from going anywhere in that direction. Okay, here's the trash where we saw Benjamin. Here's a pool, it looks like. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> I, I mean, those seem pretty equally this disgusting. Is where daddy often <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, I guess he's not in there right now. Um, that's good. Maybe he's off doing something productive with his life. Oh, that cat is not happy with me. Oh no, be careful, cat. Don't uh, don't get hit. I don't know why that was my first thought, but when an animal crosses the road. I to pet the sweet animals. Maybe I can throw glitter at it? Maybe that'll fix the problem? Whee! Oh, check that out. I unlocked something. Well, I showed something. I don't know. Was that some sort of memory or was it more of like a fabrication? Because I'm sure that is not what car trips with this family are like. I'm going to try and cross the street now. Oh, Before never mind. Continue. You need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay that's okay. good to know. Only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I really hope this is like a real Your thing. Attention. Like you get eternal happiness in the Cross real world. Road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. That, very I good, go okay. Ahead. I'm gonna try and run just in case. Oh, never mind. I'm going to be summoned into the depths of the underworld by a monster. What monster? I didn't see anything. <laughs> it was there. I Don't saw gaslight, it. narrator. It's just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> okay, let's sprint across that road. Let's uh, not stand there any longer. Is that a dead bird? Look, That's unfortunate. A oh, bird. A sleepy Come on, bird. Okay. Fortune. Let's go now. Let's just sprint off to the right of the screen and see where that takes us. Oh, into a cutscene, it looks like. 
What is this, like, rock music? Oh, and why are there dead birds falling around us everywhere? I think that is a very valid question to ask. Do they all eat some poisonous berries or something? Why did I sparkle them? Oh, it's like an intro credit scene. That's so cool. What a nice way of doing it. It's like a pastel-y art style. I quite like it. And it's all in this, like, 2D style as well. Can my sparkles fix anything? Is it going to put out that house fire? No, it didn't look like the sparkles did anything, honestly. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> that is a satellite that just fell out of the sky. Okay. And again, the sparkles seem to only be contributing to farther problems. Little Misfortune, I am very excited to get into this game and hopefully you guys are as well. So please come back in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.